All right. So this video is about this expression, which we often encounter in group theory. And like, it really baffled me in the beginning that what, what does it even mean? Like, what are its implications? Why is it so prevalent? We see it in uh, regard with elements, uh, with regards to conjugates. So there are different renditions of this used in subgroups, normal subgroups. Okay, so I'll try and explain all of those. Also, uh, yeah, anyway, nothing. So let's begin. ABA inverse. So basically, yeah, let's see. I thought this would be planned. I would like chart a plan for this video, but that could not happen over the last few days. So I thought, whatever, let's do it. So the first thing is, see, if we have A, B, A inverse equals B, what does this imply? See, this is actually, what this has written is, we multiply a on the right side okay so this becomes identity and we can write this as a b equals to b a which means that the elements commute now if this is true for all a b belonging to the group given group that means the group is abelian, okay? Or it may not be the case, like if this is true, not for all, but for some, for some elements, then it, it can imply that those elements are from the center of the group, right? That means they commute with everyone. It is a collection of those elements, okay? So the first thing we can see is that this means this actually, in case when we are talking about the elements. If it is true for all elements, that means the group is abelian, or it means that the elements which we are considering, they commute with each other, maybe pointing out to the fact that they are in the center of the group. Okay, or maybe one of them is in the center, other need not be. Like if A belongs to the center of the group and B is just any element, arbitrary element from the group, then AB will be equal to BA, irrespective of if B is here or not, right? Okay, so this is one thing. Now let's come to the second. And that should be what? Conjugate. Let's discuss what a conjugate element is. Okay, see? Mm. All right, see? If, if A is the conjugate of B, and AB belong to some arbitrary group. This implies that there exists an element in the group such that A is G, B, G inverse. Okay. What does this mean? I think I should take an example. Okay, let's take S3. 
S3 has E, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3, 2. Right? Now, I'm taking this as A and this as B. So, is there any G such that like, yeah, see? Okay, let's take one, two, three. Then let's take B and then let's take 1, 3, 2. These two are inverses of each other. So this is say G, this is B and this is G inverse. Okay. Let's, let's evaluate this. So we start from, we start from the left. Okay. Is it the left? No. We start from the right. Okay. So one, one goes to three, three goes to, I hope you are aware of this. If not, check some other video of mine. Or just, there are many videos explaining this. Anyway, I'll get back to the, what I'm focusing at. I'll get back to that. One goes to three, three goes to two, two goes to three. So one goes to three, and 3 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1, 1, 3. Yeah. What does this mean? That, okay, this is not A, this is our A actually. And what does this mean is that 1, 3 is the conjugate of 2, 3. Okay. And I'm wondering if it is true for all G in G. I think it is. Uh, it will take me time to verify. You verify for yourself, okay? And do it accordingly. I think that is the meaning of conjugate. Okay, so what, what a conjugate element actually is in a group uh, is the element which, which do a similar kind of operation. Okay, uh, not, not that operation, which do like whose result is kind of similar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like in organic chemistry, how this is defined is, say you have a triangle, so 1, 3 and 2, 3, or maybe take reflections, okay, like reflections are conjugate of each other, sorry, I'm doing rotations, but I should, okay, now some, even I'm curious, one, two, three, okay, so E R R square S S R S R square. This is the dihedral group D3, okay, now these are rotations, these are reflections. So, mm -hmm. see, let's, let's do S, R, and what is the inverse of S? S itself. So we know that S, R, N is R inverse N, S. Okay. I've proved this in an earlier video. So this becomes, what is the inverse of R is R square. So this becomes SSR square. 
and we actually this s times s is e and we end up getting r square yeah let's take an sr square here sr square see this this is my g this is g inverse and these are b a okay so this is my g g inverse what is the inverse of sr square r square s no 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 sorry that is not the inverse see sr square is a reflection a reflection is its own inverse sr square right and i'm putting in my b here this is g inverse okay let's evaluate this uh, okay i will club this this is r cube which is e and then we have s s r square and this is also e so we get r square yeah i think it is true for all g for all g i'll still verify it one more time so you should also but i think this for all g in g a is equal to g b g inverse this means that a is conjugate to b a thing to note is that conjugate elements have the same element same order sorry conjugate elements have the same order but it is not necessary that all the elements of same order will be conjugate to each other that is not the case but if we are saying that a is conjugate to b or uh, a is a conjugate element of b that implies that a and b will have the same order okay okay let's let's move to the next thing third mm -hmm. yeah normal subgroups okay now in case of normal subgroups say h is a normal subgroup of g okay h uh, belongs to g h g inverse now look carefully at the notation see here i have written small h here we have capital h so h belongs to the normal subgroup and g belongs to the group so what this implies what this thing implies here is that if we take an element from the group and we take its inverse and we operate it like this on the normal subgroup what we will get will be an element which is present in the subgroup normal subgroup okay a better way to explain this is an example and what example should we take okay let's take again let's take d3 okay d3 is e r r square s s r s r square right now mm -hmm. okay this is a cyclic subgroup and let's name it as h okay let's name it as g name it as h h is e r r square so this is a normal subgroup okay and how do we verify this is the thing this is the property that it should satisfy okay let's make it a bit extensive and do it okay so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's take s from the group and its inverse is s also so s inverse is also s let's say s h s inverse which is s okay 
So what does this mean? All right, okay, no. See, we won't take H. See, this implies that H belongs to G, H, G inverse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. S, E, S, S, R, S, and S, R, square, S. What I did is that this was G, this was G inverse. So, I did this with all the elements. Okay, so what will this give me? Now this is identity, identity, this will be identity. This will be SR is R square S, S, and this again is identity, right? And SR square will be RS because Again, S R N S R N inverse S. And we know that R square inverse is R, right? So that is what I am doing. S. This again is E. And see, what I get is E R square R, which is nothing but H. Okay? So. For once, forget this. <laughs> okay. Uh, what you can observe is that doing G H G inverse on a normal subgroup will do nothing to that subgroup. It will give us back the subgroup itself. Right? Also, another important thing is that we write g h is equal to h g when h is a normal subgroup what this implies is that okay see from here if i left multiply g inverse what will i get this turns out to be the identity and then we get H is equal to G inverse H G. Yeah, look carefully. This H is capital here, not small. That means it represents the subgroup and not the element. So if we take a specific element H1, okay, and then we do G inverse H1 G we may not necessarily get h1 we might get h2 which still is in our group and thing to note is that this h1 and h2 will be conjugate elements okay uh, yeah i think that sums it up if I missed something, I'll make another video. If you need to understand something more about it, just write in the comments. Yeah, that's it.